Alright, uh, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I love charity. No, no, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's too much, seriously, I know I'm brave, I know. I mean, no shit. <laughs> Everyone loves charity. No one has an issue with something that that's good for society. But what I do hate is when there's drama around a charity, which isn't even the charity's fault, really. And sadly, the Kickstarter for the One of Us Foundation has found a lot of drama surrounding it due to the Minecraft creators that have been a part of it. Of course, it's Minecraft creators. The Dream Team Minecraft creators. I mean, what other type of Minecraft creators do you know that get into drama? I mean, when you have such a large fan base, which is passionate and young, you know issues are bound to arise eventually. For a bit of background, the One of Us Foundation is a charity set up by Technodad, the father of Technoblade. May he rest in peace. But might I say, I'm so glad that his platform is still being used by his father to create good social change. That's beautiful to me. Anyways, the charity aims at supporting young people to help give them a voice and raise them up to basically achieve their dreams. And to help promote the charity, Technodad held an event two days ago where he invited a bunch of Minecraft content creators that were friends with Technoblade to come and participate in some fun games. And of course, when you get such a big group of Minecraft influencers together, you know shit's about to go down. And my god. There was a lot. People were getting annoyed at Dream for promoting his new song that was about Technoblade. Children with zero qualifications whatsoever were trying to psychoanalyze Slime School to figure out who he hated. And probably the biggest issue of the event came from George Not Found, who people were saying was being disrespectful not just to the charity, but to Technodad himself. Oh, and was disrespectful to people with cancer. Did I mention that? Because that's pretty bad. And the main evidence for this was clips from George's stream where he was shown to be disrespecting Technodad and the charity. George, don't do that. It's annoying. That's Where he was basically admitting to not wanting or donating to the charity. George, so how much have you donated? <laughs> Given you're like a, you know, multi- uh... Um... Not a lot of sounds now, George. <laughs> And just all in all making jokes around a very sensitive topic. Now this all looks bad, but I was convinced when I saw it on Twitter that this wasn't the full story. Don't get me wrong, I still think he deserves some criticism, but I feel like when we put these in context, this takes it from him BASICALLY BEING THE SPAWN OF SATAN to a bit more of a why the f*** did you do that, man? You know, there's a very big difference on that scale, I feel like. And given the fact that there's still a lot of, in my opinion, fake news going around about it, I want to use this video as a chance to put everything in context so that you can make your own decision to say that if you still think he deserves a lot of the criticism, or if you think that a lot of it was taken out of context and it may not be as severe as making fun of kids with cancer. Now starting off with probably the worst allegation, if it is true, and that is George playing the soundboard during Techno Dad's speech. Uh, good, King. yes. Now this is the first clip I did see from Twitter and I gotta say, it's rough. Like, Jesus Christ, there is no redeeming someone for doing that. It's just insensitive. It's not even a funny joke. It doesn't appeal to the golden rule of offensive humor. If you're gonna do it, make it funny. Anyways, to get more context for this, I went and found this on Tommy Innit's perspective from his stream. And I gotta say, everyone saying that he was doing it during the speech is being misleading at best and at worst, straight up lying. Now, George was the one playing the soundboard. Whether he was playing every single one of the sounds is up for debate. But this was before the official speech actually took place and not during the speech itself. Also, a lot of people were saying that creators were disappointed in George and giving him a stern talking, saying how he was being annoying. And even people point out to the clip of Tommy in it saying that they should go cancel George for what they were doing. George, don't do that. It's annoying. Mm -hmm. Dream uh -huh. Team, roll up in here, ruin charity. Jesus Christ, do they have no respect? If you could all just go and cancel him for me. Now this might just be me. I don't think he was being serious. Like maybe he did find it actually annoying and was unsure if this was an appropriate thing to do at the time, but I don't think that he was, oh George, I can't believe you've done this. You know, like everyone was saying he was. Especially the cancel comment. I, I think that's quite clearly a joke, right? So yes, while I still think that you can give George criticism for playing the soundboard, honestly, it does come off a little bit tone deaf given the situation and what the event's for. To say he was doing it during the speech though is honestly just not correct and is definitely painting it out to be way worse than what it is. Now moving on to the next point is all about donations and apparently George saying how he has donated nothing, which is coming from this clip here. George, so how much have you donated? <laughs> now, yes, this clip is awkward, but once again, while a lot of people are saying that, oh, the creators are pissed at George for not donating, again, I think this is probably taken a little bit out of context. Like, even Tommy, who posed the question to him, is going like, oh god, I probably shouldn't have said that, I've put him on the spot. George, so how much have you donated? Given you're like a, you know, multi-millionaire. <laughs> I put him on the um... spot. <laughs> fuck, fuck. 
Oh, Jesus, I'm really, I fucked him there. Oh, I actually feel kind of bad. Like, it is undeniably awkward. I think we can all agree on that. But I think the weight of what people were saying here is not as serious as what everyone's making it out to be. Also, on the donation side, I do want to bring up that George technically has done a bit to donate to the charity. Not only was he promoting people to go donate to the charity instead of him, but he's also claimed that 100% of the proceeds of that stream have gone straight to the foundation. Okay, thank you for gifting five subs, but, but... You should give it to the, instead of giving me the subs, you should donate to the charity stream. But I will also be taking the money from this stream and giving it to the, the charity. Now we could sit here and debate the ethics of if he should be donating more, because again, he is a multi-millionaire. And in my humble opinion, I do feel like someone with that much money, giving it to such a cause like this would be really good. But to say that he didn't donate anything is, once again, that's not true because he has donated stuff to the charity. Apparently, I'm gonna take his word for it. Last but not least is probably the hardest thing to give context to, and that is the fact that when he saw the money going to the charity, he was like, Oh, imagine if all this money went to me instead. Look at all this money. Imagine if all this money went to me instead. Now, there is a lot less context we can give to this, but I feel like by understanding the type of creator George is, we can kind of make sure that this is definitely a joke. Now, George is a Minecraft's kids entertainer. His whole thing about comedy is loud equals funny, as shown by this clip here. <laughs> yep, loud equals funny. Gotta love modern comedy. It's not smart, it's not witty, it's more like, Ooh, I wonder what will happen if I do this. Ooh, ah! You know, all, just that stuff. That's, that's his style. So when I see him saying this, I feel like most people can see this and realize, like, he is joking. $13,000. And it's all going straight to me. Okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna say it. That was definitely a joke because I don't want people to think that and donate less. That was a joke. That was a joke. Now that isn't fully an excuse for what he said. Like what he said is still clearly hurt some people. However, what I do think this does help bring context to is his intent. I personally don't think he said this to be insulting or try hurt anyone. That may have been the result, but that wasn't the intent. I do think it is kind of just a bad half joke he made and with in line with the other stuff that's happened, it looks really bad on his end. And with that, that's all of it. So with this context, if you still think that George deserves a lot of hate, more power to you. That's the conclusion you've come to. I'm not going to tell you how to think. However, it is still important to understand this background stuff so that you're not just hating for the sake of hating, because that is dumb and lame. For me personally, I do think George maybe should have just kept his mouth shut for some of the things. At the same time, I do acknowledge that I don't think any of this was meant to actually harm anyone. It's nothing I'm going to be losing sleep over, and it's definitely nothing I think that should be ruining his career. But to end it off, I do actually want to end it on a high note and talk about the charity, which link will be in the description, by the way. And guess what? In two days, they smashed their goal. The charity was asking for $50,000 to basically help for a Kickstarter. They ended up getting about 74,000 at the moment, which is really good. Uh, don't mind the bar. Uh, Techno Dad added one too many zeros. Hey, he's a good guy. Doesn't mean he's good at math. So, if you do want to donate to the charity, again, link is in the description. You're not obliged to, but if you do feel like you want to, be my guest. Also, while you're down there, if you want to do another bit of charity, please hit the subscribe button, please. I would